welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste test, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow spooky spoonies. Today's video, my friends, we are going to be doing, I want to do like a little bit of a Trader Joe's haul. I just went to Trader Joe's and got a bunch of stuff and there's a lot of things that I haven't tried before. So I want to show you an overview. I'll insert a little clip. This is the overview of everything I got. Okay, so here's an overview of everything I got. So, so much. All right, let's go item by item. I'll show you what we got. Some of these things, like I said, I've had before. Some of these I have not. So let me do the frozen items first. That way I can put them away. I have these, had these before. The vegan cookies and cream bonbons. These, and they're massive. They're like big chocolate ice cream covered bonbons. They're so good. There's six of them in here. Like I said, they're pretty massive. They're so good. They're, they're a nice little treat for Craig and I. Like sometimes after dinner, we'll each have a little bonbon. Well, not a little, we'll have a massive bonbon. So good. This is probably the fourth or fifth time I bought these. So highly recommend. Everything on here I will show is going to be vegan. There are some things that are gluten-free. If they are, I'll make sure and let you know. These unfortunately are not because they're the the cookies and cream variety, but I think they have a mint one that might be gluten-free. I'm not sure, but double check. Either way, for vegans, oh, these are a lovely little treat. Here's some items that I don't think we've had before, and we're definitely going to try out one night, Craig and I. So the first thing is these vegetable bird's nests. They're like fried veggies, like almost like a tempura little stack of things. These look really, really delicious. I'm so freaking excited to try these. These do have wheat in them, so not gluten-free. We have vegetable pouches. I think we might have had these before. I'm gonna air fry all of this because it'll just make it easier that way. I don't have to deep fry or anything and I'll have to turn on the oven. These also have wheat in them. So not gluten-free, but these look delicious. These are vegetable spring rolls. I think we've had these before. These do also have wheat because the actual wrapper. Kale, edamame, mushrooms, and shredded tofu. They're so freaking good. So probably have all of those one night. All right, so next frozen things. This is the Japanese style fried rice. I love this stuff. I The idea of frozen rice kind of threw me off initially. And then once we tried it, it is so good. It has uh, edamame, tofu, and seaweed you don't really notice the seaweed when you're eating it you mostly get the the tofu there's also got to be carrots right it looks like carrots but it is so good and we usually eat this with this little mix you find this in the produce section it is a miso vegetables and brown rice saute kit so it comes with brown rice broccoli brussels sprouts red cabbage kale carrots snow peas and then a miso sauce and there's like a little packet of rice there so i think we were trying it we we're serve frying this up once we're like this looks good, but there's not enough rice for us. We didn't really want to cook rice, but then we remembered we got this. So we threw this in there. So I think we sauteed this first because the vegetables are raw and I wanted to give like the kale and the broccoli, Brussels sprouts a little bit of time to like, you know, get cooked. Stir fried this for a little bit and then we added this in and you guys, the combination of these two is so good. It's so savory. We usually also do add, if I can find it, we usually add a packet of tofu in just like sorry i have you balanced on some boxes of crackers uh organic baked tofu is really good it's just it says teriyaki but honestly ends up just like savory flavored it's just really nice so we would we you know cube this up and threw it in there with it but those two together are such an excellent combination highly recommend and a super easy and quick meal and like for someone like me where once it hits afternoon and evening i I tank. My spoons are gone. I have no energy and it's a struggle a lot of times to get dinner done. So anything where I can do something quick but also be somewhat nutritious, I really, really love. So highly recommend. Frozen, I also got, these are gluten-free pie shells. They're vegan and gluten-free. I really, really love them. And these are awesome. I use these um, for Thanksgiving. I made like a mousse pie, like a no-bake mousse pie. So you just, I baked the crust. It's super simple. You just throw it in the oven for like 15 minutes, I think, depending on if you're doing like 
a no bake pie or if you're doing a bake pie or like a quiche i bought these actually i'm gonna throw in the freezer and have them because they will be good um quiches for like christmas morning i think i'm gonna take these with me when i visit my family and i'm gonna make some like quiches with these and i thought these would be a nice easy meal and that way i don't have to make a pie crust and it's gluten free so it's a little bit lighter you know it doesn't feel quite so heavy so i really like them they do crack a little, I will say, um, compared to like a regular, you know, glutinous flour crust. I still really like them. I think it's worth getting. And that way I know everyone can eat them. 12 different allergies that it is free of. So love these. Okay, last two frozen items. Um, I just got some seasoned waffle fries. These are super freaking tasty and really, really easy. Um, I throw them in the air fryer and they're, ugh, they're so, so good. And they do have wheat, I believe. I don't understand that is. I don't know why they need to have wheat on them. It's fresh, oh, there's a batter on them. Well, they're really tasty. So if you can do wheat, I do recommend those. And then I got them because, well, I think I'm gonna do it for dinner tonight. It's pulled jackfruit and smoky barbecue sauce. This stuff is freaking delicious. I We got this last time we went and you just cut a slit and you microwave it for like two or three minutes. Super freaking easy. So we'll have that with waffle fries. Probably gonna put the jackfruit on. I got some buns, just these, I don't know, wheat, whole wheat hamburger buns with, with the seeds, you know, I gotta have the sesame seeds. It's all fun and fancy. And then I have, I think some slaw in the fridge so I might make a little like coleslaw to go onto it. So like the buns, jackfruit, a little bit of a coleslaw mix, and the, the fries. Oh, such an easy tasty meal. And maybe not the healthiest, but high protein. So there we go. One thing I got, oh my gosh, I'm getting so off track. So one thing, one thing I got that I do use with the slaw to make a slaw, I got this garlic spread. It's like, it's meant to be like a garlic dip or something, but or it says spread slash dip, but I use like half this, half mayo in the mix for the um slaw and then add a bunch of you know spices and whatnot and holy crap i mean craig and i are like huge garlic lovers like we really love garlic recipe calls for like two cloves we're like oh you meant five right <laughs> that kind of situation so when i found this I, we've gotten it once before oh my gosh anytime we make like a slaw mix or any kind of like <laughs> spread to put on sandwiches or anything this is freaking delicious. So, so good. Highly recommend. Last frozen item I got. All right, we've never tried these before. It is corn ribs. Now, it, like the back of it, it says literally they just take like a corn cob and cut it into quarters and then cook it. And when it cooks, it like kind of curls up. So it's just like, you'll see the inside of the corn and then the outside that has all the kernels. So it's, I don't know, I think you could air fry is what it says. You can also do it in the oven, but it's just like corn on the cob, a little bit of plant-based butter, sunflower oil, cornstarch, salt. So these are gluten-free too. Yeah, vegan and gluten-free. This is on the front. But it says you can make them just like a lote mix. So honestly, if you were gonna make like an lote mix, do a little bit of mayo. Normally you would do all mayo with like maybe some tahini, Maybe a little bit of lemon juice or lime juice, um, but I'm probably going to do half mayo, half garlic spread, and then some tahini, and then just slather it on the outside. So, you know, that's healthy. These look interesting. I'm really intrigued. I love corn. Like, I love corn. You know the TikTok where the kid's like, I love corn. Corn is great. Well, I love corn. So, I saw this. I was like, I'm intrigued. I got to try it. I got some pesto. I love their pesto. It's Kale, cashew, and basil, basil pesto. I will say I am not a kale person. Like the texture of it for me is just too, I don't know, even when you massage it down with like lemon juice or lime juice or whatever, like it still is too, I don't, I don't love the texture of kale unless it's chopped super freaking fine, which is why I like it in that stir fry mix because it's like tiny little bits of kale. But in this, it's obviously just completely blended up. And it is super good on pasta. Like we have some um, ravioli that I found at Whole Foods. There's a butternut squash one that is so good. And then I got a spinach one for Craig, but I'm gonna use some of this on mine at least. And then I think red sauce for his cause he wants red sauce, but I love a pesto. So, ooh, maybe these two together. And then I did also get some sage because I was thinking make do like a brown butter sage sauce for a butternut squash ravioli and then add some of the pesto and then maybe add some <laughs> garlic spread 
because you know we can't get enough fat in one recipe we gotta keep it keep it coming all right i got some shiitake mushrooms i thought i might chop these up and have them with our pasta when we do it also i just i two years ago i would have never loved mushrooms i think i tried it 2020 is the first year i really like tried mushrooms and i well i had tried them before but like this first year i came to love them and i made it into a pate for like a lemongrass tofu banh mi which by the way was like so good i like dreaming about that it was a lot of work so that's why i don't make it often but oh i love it so much but shiitake mushrooms are my favorite i i'm okay with like the baby bill they're all fine like I just, I, they have to be cooked a certain way. I don't like the squishy texture. So like, especially, I, that's why I like shiitake and oyster mushrooms. Oyster are my favorite because you can just shred them and uh, it's just a much better texture. Oyster mushroom, actually, if you bread and fry those, they, they feel like little chicken nugget kind of things and they are so good. You can make that gluten-free as well. It's spectacular. I don't do it often because I try not to like deep fry stuff too often. But man, those are, those are highly recommended. I just got these because I figured that we'll use it for something. I know Craig loves mushrooms too. I also got some broccoli, just a little broccoli crown thing. I'm going to add this probably into the um, mushroom mix for the pasta as well. Also, I just really like adding broccoli to stuff. Um, I'll make like just egg breakfast sandwiches sometimes and I'll like crumble up some broccoli into it. Um, that way I get some extra veggies and extra greens and you don't taste them too much. They add some extra texture, honestly, especially if you saute this in like a little bit of like soy sauce or tamari or coconut aminos. Oh my gosh, I love broccoli like that. It's so, so good. It's, it's one way to get me to eat vegetables is put like a crap ton of Asian flavors on it. I love, I love me some Asian food. Ooh, or like a peanut satay sauce would be really good. Actually, let me show you something I got. I actually got this the other day. Sorry, I'm talking so fast. I'm just really excited. When you get me going around food, I like lose my mind. What, this is why grocery stores are <laughs> dangerous for me. I literally went in there with six things on my list and I bought the whole grocery store. So I just get really excited with food. This peanut satay sauce. I actually got this from Amazon Fresh. I was doing like a a food order, food delivery order. And I saw this on there because I needed a few more. <laughs> I need another item for free delivery. And um, we haven't tried this yet, but I did taste it. And it's pretty good. It's got lemongrass in it too. So, and coconut milk and peanuts and sesame seeds. And so it's pretty good. But this maybe on the broccoli, I might have to try that. It sounds so good. Okay, what else, what else? We're not, we don't have much left. I did get some of their oat creamer. This is the brown sugar one. It's so good, it's a small container. So we go through it quickly. This is not something I get super often. The brown sugar one is super tasty, especially if you're like me and you liked the, um, the Starbucks brown sugar oat shake and espresso. Mm, this is giving me a little bit of those kind of vibes. It's so good. Also, <laughs> I got some coconut whipped cream. This stuff is so delightful. But I will say also, if you have an Aldi's near you, Aldi's has like their brand of it and like the container literally looks exactly the same. It's just the brand name on it is different. Cause I know Trader Joe's and Aldi's are like same parent company, I think. Super, super tasty. This I think is gluten-free too, I would expect. Yeah, gluten-free. On hot chocolates, on coffee sometimes, you know, on the chocolate mousse pie. Boom, this is an amazing, easy topping. Some cookies maple leaf cookies we tried these like two years ago so every year i usually get a box or two and they're so good between craig and i we have to like really pace ourselves to like one to two cookies a day otherwise this container would be gone in like a day and a half i actually bought a second box i'm going to take it when i visit my family for christmas because my parents love this and they don't have a trader joe's near them so i thought like an extra little gift or something i don't know just to say happy holidays i love you here's some cookies I, this, this, y'all, this wasn't on my list, I mean, but then I saw these, and oh my goodness, it's Scandinavian swimmers, they're sour gummy, and yes, it's vegan, there's no gelatin or anything in it, but these look really interesting to me, well, for Halloween, because we didn't have made trick-or-treaters, we ended up eating far too much of our own candy, we got Sour Patch Kids, and like, oh, I like grew addicted to that flavor, so... I'm gonna try these. We'll see. I get 
Let me try one now because I am not good with sour stuff. But I know Craig loves this. So I figure worst case, he'll eat it. Not that he needs a whole bag of sugar. Blue, ooh. Maybe this is like blue raspberry. I love when I was watering. <laughs> sour oh oh it is not blue raspberry this is like pineapple or grapefruit or something i do not like either of those flavors oh okay let's okay i'll keep mm. let's try an orange oh. maybe i should have looked up the flavors beforehand oh now this mm. it hits you mm-hmm but the orange flavor was still tasting the pineapple, grapefruit, whatever it was. It is good. Okay. Recommend. These are super tasty. I got olive tapenade. I'm not a big olive person, but Craig loves it. And I thought this would be interesting. It's only it $1.99 for this. And I was like, this is a decent sized jar. I mean, he could put it on like sandwiches for work. Or if he made some sort of like tofu rice bowl or he loves soy curl so maybe a soy curl rice bowl and add some of this on it he loves some mediterranean kind of flavors so i thought this would be cool and i will try it i like the green olives that are like apparently the fancy olives they're called um honestly i'll put the name on the screen i call them like castlevania <laughs> olives <laughs> because that's like you know like they're like cast castro of it I don't know what they are, but I like those on pizza. One of my favorite pizza places here in Cincinnati um, puts that on like one of their, their vegan vibes pizza and it's so good. I'm going to be open to try new flavors. I've had this before. This is hazelnut nougat protein bar. This thing is delightful. 15 grams of protein, no added sugar, soy protein, pea protein, rice protein. Um, it's got cocoa butter, chocolate, hazelnut rice flour. Basically the inside of it is kind of nougaty. There's is it two pieces or one long piece? I think it's one long piece. It tastes like a freaking candy bar with 15 grams of protein. So I got a couple of these to keep like in my purse if I'm out running errands or if I'm at a doctor's visit that takes five or six hours. I thought this would be really good to have on me because protein helps put a little pep in my step when I'm, I'm struggling. And it's got sugar too so these are tasty. I recommend. They are kind of expensive. They're like $1.99 each. But I feel like that's pretty on par with most protein um, bars. But for me, it's good. I don't get a ton of them, but it's a nice little treat. And it's good to have for a lot of appointments, which I got a lot of appointments lately. Look at this. Can you read this? Vegan brioche loaf. Our classic brioche bread, but made with plant-based butter and egg alternative. I'm so excited. I... I haven't had a good, I haven't had brioche in like five, six years. Although we'll say Kroger has plant-based hamburger buns. They're like brioche buns, but like as far as like actual loaf, ah, I thought this would be really tasty. I think I'm going to make like, because look, they're thick, thick boy slices. I think I'm going to make like some French toast or something, especially like maybe like one where you do like a custardy, like a vegan custardy kind of batter on top of it. Let it sit in the fridge overnight and then bake it like a baked French toast. I don't know, we'll play with that. Or I'll just do like something where I do like a normal dredge and pan fry it. <laughs> Either way, I'm excited to eat this. Very last thing, coffee. <laughs> I actually really, really like this coffee. This is their Wake Up Blend. It's a medium roast. And as someone who has a lot of stomach issues with things maybe being too bitter or too acidic, I find this to be absolutely fine. I like this coffee, it's super tasty. Gosh, I can't stop coughing. I'm just gonna chug some apple juice real quick. Oh, that's the spot. That's the spot. What I usually do is I will make like a whole entire pot of it and then I refrigerate it. <coughs> Still coughing. And then I use it for iced coffee. It's super easy. That way I already have it prepared. I don't know. Even it's winter and I still am like wanting iced coffee. <coughs> I don't do well with hot drinks maybe unless it's tea. Because I like it in a nice like not hot but like medium hot. So for coffee I end up putting way too much creamer and stuff because I just want to like chug it down. But if I have iced coffee, I go slower with it because I don't have to worry about it changing temp and I don't know. Anyway, this is the coffee I get. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was a little bit different, but I've been trying to 
I'm trying to add more of the food stuff back in. It's been a while, but but the health stuff, it's been really hard to cook and film cooking is even more difficult. I'm, I'm gonna work on bringing it back in a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Also, if you aren't already, please do consider subscribing to this channel and make sure and hit the bell so you're notified every single time I upload. I do like one to two videos a week, so you don't wanna miss out. Whether you're one of my patrons, whether you're a subscriber, or whether you're somebody that just dropped by, just watch this video, spend some time with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you got some ideas for food stuff out of it. Thank you guys so much for all your love and support, uh, especially with the shop, lovely this. I sold out of the witch hats, which was gonna work today, but I forgot. So thank you guys, but there's still plenty of items left, so check the link in the description. Um, and thank you guys for the support. So oh, I love you guys. I hope everybody's doing wonderful, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.